Tony, it's defeat here at home to Waverley. What did you make of the game? Well, I think it's the same old story, unfortunately, and I've, I've, you know, I'm, I'm so disappointed again that uh, we've lost the game. Uh, you know, the guys once again have, have given me their all, um, but the, the lack of concentration, you know, when we're in control of the game, really, um, and it's, it's, I think it's team mistakes, not just individuals today. You know, people got to take responsibility and, you know, and try and organise things. Um, you know, across the back line and and just on a set piece, and uh, we've been punished. And, and, it, and it is really, I have to say, it's, uh, that one's a bit of pill to swallow. Paul Rooney went off injured with about half an hour to play, and it felt like a big moment in the game. And towards we had a bit of a makeshift back line with Miller Rodney at right back and Winter centre half. Did you feel like that was a big moment? I, I totally agree. With you. you know, um, I think Rooney and Manny had done well, you know, throughout the game. And then Rooney's had to come off and we've had to reshuffle and instead of doing just one, we've had to do two or three. Um, and, and it didn't help the situation at all. Um, but nevertheless, you know, the lack of concentration, what happens during the last, I think it was 12 minutes, something like that, it's just, it's, it's not acceptable. Um, we have to say that and, it, and it's not, um, uh, but it, it keeps happening. So. You know, it's, um, it's, it's like I say, we, I think I've been charged for seven, eight games and, um, you know, we haven't turned the corner. Um, we're still where we are and uh, we may have got some better performances, but the results are what they are. And um, unfortunately, we've only got, you know, sort of four points, which is you know, so disappointing for, for myself. And, and it is for the players but uh, and, and for Craig as well. We, we have worked hard, I can, I can say that. Um, and it's... it's, it's um, <laughs> I, I, I really don't know what to say because it's it, it, it just really really hurt. It was another game where for 80 minutes we put a really good performance together and looked in control. We had chances to make it two or three now that we didn't take, and mm. then it it was almost a capitulation, which has just been a theme at times this season. That mm. late in the games we haven't been able to see it through. What can you do about that? I mean, how can you address that? Well, it, we tried to address it, and, and it, quite bluntly, it hasn't worked. It's been it's been there, if you like, all season. Um, you know, and it has. There's no, there's no two ways, but it's it's it's, it's, it's just been the lack of um, concentration. Uh, you know, they're they're where they are for a reason. Um, they've got a, a togetherness about them, um, and and then you know they get balls into good areas, and they have got runners who, who are strong, and they they came and, and went to try and do something about the game. And um, as I say, we we when we've had to make the two changes, it hasn't helped us, and. Uh, you know, you're, we are looking. I think we've, gone, we've played a little bit better going forward, and some of the some of the football's been been okay. But at the same time, you've got to win games, and you, we've got to pick up points. And it's been a real disappointing week, to be fair. Maxwell Statham wasn't available today. He, he missed the game, and we had Winter and then Miller Rodney at right back. So, can you give us an update on him? Yeah, Max got took a knock uh, on on Saturday, and uh, we we give. Um, Give him to you know today, and, and, he, and he wasn't fit. So unfortunately, you know, I had to move Jordan into the, the right back area. Um, he, he, say he, he's done okay, but then um, you know, obviously um, Joe Ashwazi was um, suspended. So we, we we've had to just sort of do a makeshift yet again. For yourself personally, you've been in the role sort of a month and a half now. Is it looking likely that you'll continue as interim manager going forward? Um, <laughs> Not on the results I've had, no, really, uh, if I'm honest with you. Um, the desired effects it probably didn't happen. Um, and if you go back to the first game when you know, when, when a new manager or someone takes over, you, you, you get that little buzz. And we had that at Juro, went all the way down there and we, we didn't win, you know, and we didn't even play. And, uh, you know, the, I, I would suggest, you know, the support has been excellent. You know, I can't, can't fault them. There's a lot of people been behind us, but... Uh, you know, we just haven't picked up enough points with really what we should have done. And, we, and we've been so close, but the bottom line is we're down now. Um, it doesn't lie at the league table and we have to try and get, you know, get some points. And, you know, I, I think we, I think everyone realises that you need sort of 50 points. There's no, no denying that. I think it's around about the 50, 50 points that we're going to need. And, um, you know, we're not running out of games completely, but we, 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 we haven't picked up nowhere near as many points as I thought that we would do. And going forward, it's Worthing here on Saturday, who I think are managers, managers us now after losing Adam Hinchwood today. So maybe is that a slight opening for us to try and get first three points here for a while? 
Well, I, I'd hope so, but you know, we've got to concentrate and we've got to be better for 90 minutes and 96 minutes. Um, they're really disappointed in there, the players, obviously. Um, you know, they've, they've, they have tried, but you know, you've got to have more than the effort sometimes and you've got to have a bit of quality. And I still felt before, no, we've been trying to say, you know, to get, get one nil up and not, not one nil down. And we've got one nil up and, and obviously then, then, you know, the injury happens and uh, it, it, it is tough on them. But that's what happens to you when you're, you're at the wrong end of the table. Everything goes, goes wrong and, you know, I can stand here giving so many excuses, but I don't want to just, at the end of the day, we just want to try and get three points or, or a point out of something, you know, and, and, and stop the rot. And somewhere along the line, we've got to do it because we're, we're, you know, we, you know, I've realised, and and I'm part of the club. I'm part of what what happens. So we're at boardroom level, and um, you know, the results are just not been good enough. And before we finish, you have an update on the club co-chairman Dave Skinner. Yeah, unfortunately, Dave. Um, you know, it's his birthday today, but we've just heard he's been taken back into hospital. Dave was in hospital for about a month before Christmas. Um, he went back in. To, he came out and then went back in on Christmas Day. Uh, he's been out uh, probably a month again, and you know we've been in contact with him to see how he is. And um, you know we'd just like to wish him all, all the very best, and I hope he, uh, you know, to get well soon. But he's, uh, he's he's been well missed, that's for sure. Thanks for your time, Joe.